Hey everybody, Dave Basulto here, iographer. I uh, want to do an update for you, an update tutorial on Switcher Studio Pro and Switcher Studio Basic. Uh, they added some cool new features and I really wanted to, uh, to show you guys what's going on. I've got my lovely assistant here, my son Alexander. Hi. Say, uh, Alexander says hi. And we've got a four camera shoot going on here. And as you can see, and um, Switcher Studio, if you haven't seen my original uh, video on it, is a uh, allows you to have four different devices. And currently, I've got two iPad Airs, my iPhone 6 Plus, and an iPad Mini all set up. And we're going to watch uh, Alexander do some of his building of his architecture set uh, for Lego. And it's really cool, as you can see here on the panel. We've got our four cameras, we've got our preview monitor, and we've got um, different setups here. So right here you see, we've got, uh, it'll, the switcher input will look for different cameras. And actually, I'm not going to go through all that stuff because... we got a glass bag. Yeah, got a black bag, yeah. Uh, the switcher, the switcher uh, studio app uh, tutorial that I have will show you all the basics of it. So I'm just going to really jump into some of the new features uh, that they got. One of the best things about Switcher Studio that I love is that they're constantly listening to us and upgrading things. Um, so just some of the new features. By the way, Switcher Studio is free. You can download the free version of it. Um, you can also upload the pro version of it, which I have. It's $49 a month or $500 a year. Uh, but it allows you unlimited streaming uh, over the Internet. Um, so some of the cool things in Studio 2.1, we've got audio monitoring. So if I go over to um, the, I'm sorry, the audio channel right there, you see we've got uh, the audio meter running. And we can actually monitor, if we have the right cable, you could have uh, your microphone on and have be able to listen to headsets. Um, and some great options. SwitcherStudio.com has some great uh, tutorials on that as well. But uh, Alexander, maybe you can clap in front of the microphone really quick. See, now you can see the audio moving around. So that's really cool. It also enables you to have stereo audio. So if you wanted to plug into the lightning jack, and there's some tutorials I've shown uh, how to use the lightning jack to get stereo audio. Uh, but you can get stereo audio in there as well. And it also has improved Galileo support. So if any of you have not gone to motor, M-O-T-R-R.com, they have a really cool device, um, and we're actually talking with them about uh, integrating it so that we could fit with their device as well. But it's a motorized uh, thing, so you really could have these motorized things with iographers on top and be able to uh, be a one-man camera system uh, for, for shoots. He's separating, guys. And he's separating now. I'm going to zoom into this uh, camera two angle there, and now we've got this, uh, this side of him shooting. So over here, one of the best features that I had and I'd asked Nick for was image overlays. So if we go over to the far right, the star button, it allows us to add graphic elements, which I thought was really important, uh, especially if we we're streaming football games or whatever. Uh, if I wanted to have our, our station logos, I could have all that kind of stuff on there. So now I can add uh, elements. And if you go in there, it lets you go to Dropbox, your camera roll, wherever. There's test patterns here if you want to have stuff like that for RGB guys, uh, worry, testing. Guys, don't worry if it's black because I don't see it that much black. You oh, can, I can see it now. You can add the audio uh, overlay, the app icon, I'm sorry, um, to different charts if you want to. So they've really uh, upped the ante here with that. I'm going to go into my Dropbox and let's just say this was uh, my podcast here so I would add my podcast icon, I can use it as an image, so it would take the entire screen, or I can use it as an overlay, and I'm going to do that. And I can click and drag this with my finger and add it wherever I want. So I'm just going to leave it right there, and I'm going to choose Apply on Preview so that I can watch it, and we're going to click Done. And now, there it is. If I just click on it, it's now there. Oh. So now if I go to this shot and press Live, there it is on the right side. You see my image... Uh, my icon there and it'll be on all of them from then on so we'll just switch to a couple of other angles just to verify that and there it is so that's really fun um, believe we can add more than one let me see let me add another one 
I haven't tried this yet, so this is live on TV. Let me see. Um, I'm going to do my camera roll just to see if I can find anything oh, fun here. Nice. Maybe this photo. And we're going to use this as an overlay as well. And I'm going to move this over to the right. Click done. And we're going to have that live there. And let's set up a different shot now. And I'll press... Uh, Guys, see. I'm going to put the black here instead. So and sorry. there it is. There's two images there. And I'm assuming we can go more and more and have as many images as you want. So you could have a nice lower thirds element. Maybe you want it to... That'll be consistent throughout your show. Maybe you want to pop up a graphic or uh, you want to pop up... Uh, maybe you're filming uh, sports, basketball or something. You want to have that player's picture came up, uh, come up because you're talking about them. Very cool stuff. The other thing that's really cool is now... Uh, we go into this area in outputs. Um, so right now I'm showing you my whole screen, but I could also go to the live button here and click that and it'll actually show you the entire screen instead of, uh, it's like the live output of what we're seeing right here instead of the whole screen of the iPad itself. And, uh, sorry, we're not using that. Um, so that is really, really cool. So we can, so one thing they allowed now is they used to have HDMI and AirPlay, which we're using, but now they also stream AirPlay audio out of there too. So that is really, really cool. The final thing that they've added that I don't really have uh, uh, the opportunity to show you today is they are uh, enabling the SLR lens. Um, Nick Mattingly, the CEO, and I were at a convention. He saw the iographer with... Uh, uh, the adapter for DSLR lenses and he loved it. So he um, went in there and added a workflow for that as well. So if you want to use DSLR lenses, uh, like a 50 millimeter or whatever, make some really camera awesome, uh, you know, make it, make it look very depth of field, um, you can certainly do that. So these are some of the new features at Switcher Studio, uh, the basic and the pro. I really think they're cool. Um, we love using it here at Iographer. Uh, big fans. We've used it for streaming football games and just general stuff. We're going to start doing some Lego tutorials with my son and uh, super cool stuff. So that's our tutorial for today. Thanks for coming and we'll have a lot more stuff in 2015 for you guys. Looking forward to having a great year of Biographer and thank you so much for all your help. Sorry that we haven't posted a video tutorial in a long time. Yes, we're sorry we haven't posted a video tutorial in a long time. We're, we're on it. Okay, talk to you guys soon. Take care. Thank you.